We've posed this question before, but it's worth saying again. What have you been taught about getting a horse on the bit? Now, this is one of my unfavorite terms, and it does, in fact, cover a multitude of sins. Have you been taught to get the horse's head down, to keep the bit moving in his mouth? If you haven't been taught to get the horse's head down, it's highly likely that desperation have led to you fiddling or pulling. Because the truth is, the statement, get the horse on the bit, is never going to be a bite-sized chunk for any rider. It needs breaking down into its component parts, which is what this course is all about. Of course, I much prefer the term, the seeking reflexes, which talks about the horse coming up through his back, reaching his head and neck into the rein. And the rider who knows about that is really intent on using her body to change the horse's back rather than using her hands to keep the horse's head down. And when the horse is scrunched backwards with a hand kind of stopping his nose advancing, he ends up with his head back, his back hollow in a posture that cannot be beautiful. It doesn't have that wonderful flowing movement and that top line of reaching and arching with the neck to seek contact with the rein. So we're now into the nitty gritty of how to get on the bit to happen through these component parts that we're teaching you in this course.